Hey everybody, I want to thank you for being here and I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to make a little video just kind of going over what an accountability group is, um, especially for any of you that might be new to the groups. Just want to give you a really quick rundown of what it is, what's expected, how to get the most out of it, that kind of thing. So really, um, an accountability group is basically a support system. Um, it's a support system to help you um, stay on track with your health and fitness goals, whatever those health and fitness goals are. Uh, a lot of us are going to be, you know, we'll have different goals or we'll be doing different things for exercise or different things with our nutrition. But at the same time, we do all go through a lot of this, you know, same struggles. And so having this um, built in support system can be really helpful with just, um, you know, sharing about the good days and the bad days and everything in between and uh, being able to celebrate our victories or to, you know, bounce ideas off of each other or if we're having a hard time with something just to be able to talk about that. Um, these groups can also be a chance, like, you know, if you're really good and committed to your goals already on your own, it's a chance for you to help other people and, um, you know, support them on their journey. But, the big idea is that we're all striving to live healthier lives um, and we are here to support each other on that journey. Um, it is an, a judgment-free zone, okay? We do not nitpick on each other. We do not, you know, there's no negativity whatsoever. Um, we are here to lift each other up and cheer each other on and... Um, like I said, to share any and everything about our journeys and to be there to support each other. And the one thing we really love about our groups is that uh, we embrace this idea of balance. Um, you know, balance in your exercise and in your nutrition. Um, you know, we talk we talk a lot about the 80-20 rule of nutrition and that, and that you're making good decisions about 80% of the time and then having some wiggle room, you know, the other 20% of the time with what you're eating. For some people, it might be more like a 90-10 rule. Um, so that's kind of individualized, but we really believe in finding a lifestyle that, um, that you can enjoy and that, you know, finding habits that you can make a part of a daily lifestyle and that you're not, you know, going to get burnout from it or, um, you know, it's not like some crash diet or something that you're going to gain all your weight back as soon as you stop it kind of thing. Um, we want you to be able to find a lifestyle that you can maintain with exercise and nutrition, but also one that can get you results, right? So if it's something um, where you're not getting the results you want, then that's kind of where like your coach can come into play with helping. You maybe make some tweaks to your exercise or nutrition plan so that you can start to get the results you're looking for in terms of whatever your goals are. Um, and then the other thing I do want to mention is that we have to make sure we're not comparing ourselves to each other. I know that can be really hard not to do, um, but I've actually heard this a couple of times on a few of our um our coaching national wake up calls the last few weeks that uh, it's a, just a quote you may have heard before that comparison is the thief of joy. And it's so true because if you sit there and compare yourself to other people, you're going to be miserable. Your confidence is going to go down. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. Um, and so you have to be careful in these groups, especially because people are at all different levels. Okay. Some people might just be starting their exercise um, journey and so maybe you're just going to be starting walking a couple of times a week, or maybe you're coming back after having a baby and you really have to kind of ease into things and that's fine, but you're going to also have other people that might be at the other extreme and are, you know, doing crazy intense workouts six days a week. So just make sure you're not comparing yourself to other people, meet yourself where you are and feel good about that. And just, you know, find little ways to celebrate and measure your progress as you, you know, as you go um, throughout your journey. That's so important. As far as the expectations of the groups, we just really want you to commit to a plan. So um, that plan hopefully is going to involve some sort of exercise. What you do is up to you. And again, if you need help with something, you can talk to your coach about that. Um, and then also in terms of nutrition, we'll provide some um, sample meal plans and share recipe ideas and things like that. But again, um, have a plan in place for your nutrition and for your 
uh, your exercise. And of course, that's going to depend on what your goals are. Okay, so actually, you got to start with your goals and then have a plan in place to help you reach those goals. Um, but once you've got your plan, your plan in place, we just want you to show up, show up, commit to what your plan is, show up and share in the group. Um, so, you know, share those, those sweaty workout selfies, share pictures of what you're eating. And it doesn't have to be constantly throughout the day. Maybe share your one workout picture and maybe a couple pictures of your food or one picture of your food or share a recipe or something. It only takes less than 30 seconds to post. So we just, you know, posting isn't mandatory, we say, but honestly, um, that is the piece that is going to really bring in the accountability factor in these groups. Because when you show your face, um, you know, you get that added pressure to actually continue showing up and doing what you said you were going to do. Whereas if you just fly under the radar and don't show your face and kind of like, you know, stand back and just watch, then you don't really get invested in the process. And then you totally lose that accountability piece. Um, you know, don't be surprised if your coach reaches out to you, if we don't hear from you at all in the group, just to make sure that, you know, everything's okay, but invest in the process, give it a chance, um, show your face, interact, share with the group, and you'll hopefully get a lot out of it. And also you never know, like what, what you share with the group, um, there's more, more than likely there's going to be somebody else that can relate to you. And so that can just really help to strengthen the sense of community and build the relationships. So please just share whether, you know, if you had a good day, if you had a bad day, um, if you have a question about something, if something's really bothering you, if you have an awesome victory you want to share, then, then do that. That's like, you know, we love, we love that stuff. So, um, just to kind of finish this video off, um, like anything in life, you will, get out of it what you put into it. So just, um, you know, let's give it your best shot and let's make it an amazing group. Thanks guys.